Okay, I'm going to take a standard tune, do a quick analysis of it, and uh, looking for my ashtray. Here somewhere. And then solo over it in one position, a couple positions. Okay, the tune is Green Dolphin Street. I'm not going to play the melody because then it's a copyright infringement. But you can't copyright chords. So. <sighs> Very important tune. Here we go. C major. Playing C6 or C major 7. Then it goes to C minor. A lot of tunes go major to minor with the same root. Then it goes D7, E flat 7 to C. Then you need to turn around to 2. 2, 5, and C. does it again in E flat, F minor, B flat 7, E flat. Back, you got to get back to C, so D minor, G7, C, that's the first A. Right here, seventh fret, fingering seven, no, yeah, C. Major seven arpeggio. C minor. The most important note that changes is E to E flat, so we've got to find all the E flats. It's actually a B flat pitch collection, but I'm just lowering the third in C. Or C minor arpeggio. D7. E flat 7, C. So, major. Seven arpeggio, D flat, C, A seven, turn around, D minor, to C, F minor's here. Two, five, and C. G seven, C. F minor seven, B flat, E flat, D minor, C. Second half, same. Turn around to two. Now it gets tricky. D minor, C in the bass. B minor 7 flat 5, E7, and then it does the same thing in, in this key, A minor. Second half. Let's start again. 1, 2, 3, 4, C major. Again. 1, 2, 3. It's hard to talk and play. 1, 2, 3. Two chords, D, D7, D flat, 
flat seven. You can do that in any of the five positions. After you practice it like that, then you can move around. soloing is you're just putting chords underneath lines that you would regu regularly play. If you can't play a line that makes sense, how are you going to do chord soloing? You can't. Anyway, I get that question all the time. I, I just want to learn how to solo with chords. You can't. You can't do it like that. Anyway, people are still confused with the fucking finger. I don't believe it. There's no fingering four. No fingering fucking four, okay? Here's finger C. in there. It's not about modes. It's a feeling, a feeling for what F start on left will be Lydian. Fuck all that shit. That's not that. That has nothing to do with making music. I knew there'd be something to piss me off. Okay. Um, keep the cards and letters coming, especially the money. Um, Hal, I forgot his, I won't say his last name. Guy named Hal uh, made a very nice donation. Anyway, that's it. Uh, arpeggios. Somebody asked me about that. Huh? You just extract them from those fingerings. You know, I'll I'll do more on that uh, different video. Somebody want to know how I did polarity? Was there charts? Um, do all the don't not really. Uh, Believe it or not, me and Joe back, what we did was, this is kind of silly, we, we opened the real book just to figure out what we were going to play, tune, tune names, names of the tunes. So we found some that we liked, and uh, then we sat at Joe's house and, how are we going to do this, you know? I'm going to play the melody, uh, you know, uh, I wound up just playing the melody and, and soloing on the record. And I was reacting to what Joe chords he was playing. His harmonic sense was fantastic. And you can't look at the same because he's playing a different instrument. It's, it's tuned down a fifth and these two middle strings are up an octave. So anyway, um, so I just reacted to, to um, what harmony he was giving me. Um, the only chart that I wrote was I think was an original tune. I don't remember it. Uh, I think it was... Uh, I can't remember what tune it was. Uh, that's the only time there was charts. On other CDs, the first CD, no charts. Second CD, no music. The one with Joey had music. I wrote it out and then he tells me he can't read. But he had a great ear, he didn't need to read. So um, then Midnight Blue was all written out. Uh, the two live at Birdlands, no music except for Craig's tune, original tune. And another one, a segment, I didn't know it. So uh, I wrote that out. Uh, and I'd been playing with Bobby a lot, so uh, it was easy. And the one I did the most writing was Midnight Blue. And at the end of the session, I don't know when it was over, I was so glad it was over, I left all the music there, so I, I don't even have it anymore. Um, which is really a shame, I wish I did. 
Anyway, okay, goodbye. I'm fucking done. I gotta smoke. Take it easy. See you later. Good guitar, man. It does have binding, it's just, can't see it because it's sprayed over it. Anyway, enough about this shit. Thank you. I'm gonna play the melody, uh, you know. Uh, I wound up just playing the melody and, and soloing on the record and I was reacting to what Joe Chords he was playing. His harmonic sense was fantastic and you can't look at the same because he's playing a different instrument. It's, it's tuned down a fifth and these two middle strings are up an octave. So anyway, um, so I just reacted to, to um, what harmony he was giving me. Um, the only chart that I wrote was I think was an original tune. I don't remember it. Uh, I think it was, uh, I can't remember what tune it was. Uh, that's the only time there was charts. On other CDs, the first CD, no charts. Second CD, no music. The one with Joey had music. I wrote it out and then he tells me he can't read. But he had a great ear, he didn't need to read. So um, then Midnight Blue was all written out. Uh, the two live at Birdlands, no music except for Craig's tune, original tune. And another one, a segment, I didn't know it. So uh, I wrote that out. Uh, and I'd been playing with Bobby a lot, so uh, it was easy. And the one I did the most writing was Midnight Blue. And at the end of the session, I don't know when it was over, I was so glad it was over, I left all the music there, so I, I don't even have it anymore. Um, which is really a shame, I wish I did. Anyway, okay, goodbye, I'm fucking done. I gotta smoke. Take it easy. See you later. Good guitar, man. It does have binding, it's just, can't see it because it's sprayed over it. Anyway, enough about this shit. Thank you.